Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. Yeah, we gon' talk. To go represent what? What was you representing, brother? You wasn't representing fatherhood. You wasn't representing grandfatherhood. And you sure wasn't representing. Because you got to come to my community to event the next day that you getting secretly paid for. That you getting secretly paid for. Wow. Yeah, let me ask you this. So, what, when See, that's how real it get. But they don't want to be real. Mm -hmm. So this is what me and, du me and Dewberry go do the interview, right? Immediately after that, he called Unk and apologized after he walked off stage. He wasn't even in the car good. That's what Unk say, though. That's what Unk tell us. He called and apologized immediately. Mm. He felt bad. Oh, he was felt bad. He could. That's what Unk tell us. But I called and apologized. Nigga, I ain't never apologized to no nigga when I think I'm right. Mm. I think I'm right. Well, Vlad was saying that, uh, what people were saying that Vlad, for him to ask those questions that he had asked while he was on there about him being a convicted felon and still carrying a gun could have got him incriminated. I really didn't know where that came from, but I was looking at, you know, some of the uh, Well, like, lashes. listen, like he told me, I said, James, unless you still committing crimes, are you still committing crimes, James? He told me, I'm not answering that. I'm not telling you that. Well, you got on Vlad TV and confessed it. I asked you, the brother asked you, Jane, why would you, why, unless you still committing crime gang banging, Jane, why would my words affect you? He told me, I'm not gonna tell you if I'm still committing crimes or not. Well, why would you get on Vlad TV and confess to pos possession of a firearm across state lines? Why would you confess to that? Mm -hmm. On Vlad TV. And this is what I was told the next day when it started going viral. Vlad TV, I already done called James. They told him, no, man, we ain't doing no Vlad TV interview. He just want to be messy. He just want to capitalize over. But I know Vlad go pay you for something like this here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Vlad go give you anywhere from $3,000 to $5,000 for a good interview like this here. Shit, and I know niggas need that money. Mm. Yeah, so I he, know niggas need that money, man. So do you feel like, you know, because nobody wasn't checking for uh, Mob James. Nobody like was looking up Mob, man. I done made him hot like Death Row again. But it's going to fade away. Because when you look at him, what else he got? Yeah. He ain't got no charisma, no character. He ain't got, once they stop talking about Charleston White, he ain't got nothing, man. <laughs> <laughs> once they stop talking about me, they ain't got nothing no more, nigga. I'm the, I'm the topic. So the next day, I believe he said when y'all went to the event, yeah. uh, he was saying that you said that you felt like that he came down there to, you, that he was coming down there to set you guys, set you up. I, I, no, I felt like that once that, that the, the Abdul Chappelle and the other nigga, yeah, that, the other nigga made the video and said that him and Mob James came down there to check me. The nigga in the video said that Mob James then went on the ground and he went in the air. So... I don't see this video till Sunday, right? My, I was there Friday night at the camp to get it going. Saturday, my son going to camp. So I wasn't there Saturday and Sunday. I'm the one help raise the money for the event, get the promotions going, right? So I see this video Sunday about this nigga hollering about, they done come to Texas to check me. Nigga, what? So then I see the video with Dewberry. Hey man, unk, what's up with these niggas? These your people, unk. Fuck you, man, they got nigga, fuck them, nigga, what you, so Unks and all, man, I don't even know them niggas. Mm. So we had to sort that out. So I gonna be in disrespectful to everybody. Nigga, I'm finna turn on Unk. I'm finna get into it with Dewberry. Nigga, what you doing on here with this? So Dew said, nah, homie, I'm, I told that nigga I'm not having no discussion about Charleston. So we get down to the bottom of it, right? Get everything sorted out, see that this, this nigga Compton nigga, Mob James don't know him, he playing for clickbait, right? So by this time, I done, I done went off the handle. So one of the elders from Santana Block Crip uh, give me a call, man, Sag. The elder Sag. They call him the Crip on, on, on YouTube, elder brother. I got a lot of respect for him. I met him about, okay. I met him about five years ago. He from Cali? He from Cali. Okay. Uh, 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 one of the original baby Crips. Okay. Uh, so I met Sag about five years ago. So Sag reached out to me. Uh, you know, with the with the with the grandfather uncle tone. Hey, cuz, <laughs> say, cuz, what's up with you and you and you and you and Ray Shana, cuz? She say you tagging her and shit on on Facebook, cuz, and going off on her talking about, uh, you know, you trying, you know, woo woo. So, 
I'm like, nah, no, sag, man, they got this nigga. I'm trying to see who this nigga is. Talking about he in my town checking me. It's a green light on me. So he say, so I give him the names of the people who are all involved, right? So we get everything sorted out from Cali to Texas. So you see them titles done change. Yeah. You see them niggas' titles done change. So sag, so I tell sag, uh, sag said, cuz, Rayshana don't know cuz. She ain't know that nigga. She went down there with Mob James to see her sister on a free trip. Her and her baby daddy, they fuck around. They real tight cuz. They enjoy each other. They just hanging. Woo, woo, woo. They ain't got nothing to do with none of that cuz. You wrong. You know, she ain't got nothing to do with that. So, so make that right for me cuz. So call her. So I call Ray Shana, me and her talk. So uh, he hit me the next day and said, uh, Say cuz apologize to her in a video. Cause she's still getting phone calls. So uh that's the apology I made directly to Ray Shauna Washington. Okay. Uh for thinking she had something to do with whoever that Compton Crip nigga was. Okay. How did he came down here with them, right? Mm -hmm. He he put them in that. So uh I never called Mob James, homie. So uh about three days ago, or it's been about five days ago, him and Unc called me on the phone. Okay. And we had another discussion again. Guess how that discussion went? The same way it went on that podcast. Oh, so it got amped back up it, again. Man, I don't care. You can't make me understand it. The gang violence. That you want me to understand, the, man, I don't care who died behind it. What about the people y'all killed? Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gon' talk.